for Wildlife Wednesday. If you have raccoons, possums, or any other animals around your homes, you may have questions about trapping. Joining us live now over Zoom is Marianne Galden. Marianne, you said there's a misconception sometimes when it comes to trapping. Some people think it's cruel or even illegal. What do you want people to know about trapping? Well, unfortunately, pop culture gives us the wrong impression of trapping. Even in the cartoons, we see the big jawed traps that hurt the legs of the animals that they catch, but that's just simply not accurate. Trapping is very humane. It is a highly regulated pastime with all sorts of research that goes into what types of traps should be used to target what types of species to cause them no harm. Now, trapping is used to reduce wildlife on an area and also to augment it. Nationwide, trapping is used by biologists to reintroduce species. So what land traps do is they hold the animal in place until the person arrives to handle the animal. And so land traps don't kill the animal. They're just kind of handcuffing the animal and holding them in place. Again, it's very humane, it's highly regulated, and it's only allowed for abundant species. So it's a great way for landowners to help manage coyotes, foxes, possums, and raccoons on their property. You all are holding workshops all throughout the state coming up for kids and adults. Tell us about these workshops and are they free events? That's right. So the trapping workshops have a very, very small registration fee, just about $10, and will keep you busy for two whole days. And so it's on Saturdays and Sundays, beginning on November 9th and 10th in Greenville, and then throughout December, January, and February, all throughout the legal trapping season. These weekends are designed for adults and kids to learn how to manage these fur bearers, again, in a humane, highly regulated way. And so trapping is one of those things, as you mentioned, that a lot, have a lot of misconceptions that surround it. People don't even know sometimes that it is legal. It is legal when done the right way. And our staff is here to teach you how to trap abundant fur bearers humanely using the appropriate traps for the appropriate species. If someone's not able to go to a workshop and maybe they do have a possum or a raccoon around their home that's maybe getting into the trash or doing something, what can they do to safely remove that animal or who can they contact to help them? Well, one of the best things to do is try to prevent the problem to begin with. Most of those nuisance animals can be discouraged from coming up if we remove the attractants that are bringing them in. So making sure that your pet food's not left outside and your trash isn't left outside. But other people do have really valid concerns. For example, these animals may be eating their chickens or they may be helping make sure that they don't get as many eggs in the morning from their hens as they would like to. So some people do have valid reasons for really wanting to reduce the number of these animals on their property. And if they don't wanna attend one of our trapping workshops, there's a lot of information about trapping online and there are also companies that provide that service for private homeowners as well. Give us again that website where people can go for the location and dates of the different workshops because I know they're happening the next couple of months. And again, give us that registration fee information as well. That's right. Statewide, throughout the state, Greenville, Troy, up into North Alabama, way down into South Alabama, OutdoorAlabama.com. Search for our trapping workshops and registration is open now. It just opened this week. So OutdoorAlabama.com, search for trapping workshops and register. And it's really good for the whole family. These are things that even kids can do. So we recommend it for ages seven and up, but setting these traps is a real skill because it means you have to learn how the animals move and the type of habitats they like. And it's pretty much an art to get an animal to come. It's got the whole world to wander, can come right to the specific spot where you're hoping it to go. And so trapping is a tradition in this country and it's a valuable skill for land managers and we're here to teach it, OutdoorAlabama.com. And you wanna learn how to trap those animals safely where it doesn't injure the animal and you don't injure yourself or a family member in the process. Marianne, thanks for joining us here on Alabama Live. We truly appreciate it. Thank you.